In this video, we are going to learn about conditional cut and fill assemblies. So, as the name implies, conditional means that we have a condition when we are applying the cutting or filling. Uh, currently, in my screen, I have an assembly. Uh, I don't have specified any cut or fill assemblies here uh, because I need to specify them as a conditional specify them through conditional assemblies uh, the condition is if my fill height is if my fill height is less than 6 meters I will have a slope of 1 point uh, I will have a slope of 2 into 1 slope fill slope if my fill height is uh, more than 6 meters I will have a slope of 1.5 into 1 with a benching. So this is how to create them. Now you go want to go to tool palettes, then go to conditional from here, then conditional cut off fill. Then you go to click here, so it will automatically give you a cut assembly. So I press enter and select this one. Go to sub assembly properties. I will say change this name to conditional fill, and this is on the right side. And I don't want to change these things, just I change this one to fill and my condition is 0 to 6 meters I click OK then I have another one and I click here so this time also I get it as a cut and I go to sub assembly and this is also a conditional fill and this is also fill and this is from 6.001 to uh, 9999 meter maximum distance for this layout grade i will change this to a separate value because if i use this layout grade it will uh, coincide this with with this one instead i will you can see if i click apply it will coincide with this one i will change this one to 0.5 to one layout grade so it will change to a uh, separate one so uh, i click ok so if we still we haven't attached the cut field assemblies only we have defined the uh, conditions here now we are going to attach the assemblies so i click this one and go to tool palette and go to daylight now we go to i'll go to i'll go to daylight bench and i will attach it here and i will attach it here as well both assemblies then i press enter for this one i told you i am going to have a two inch to one slope so i click this one and go to assembly go to parameters so my cut slope will be uh, not considered here max cut height also will not be considered because this is the fill assembly now my fill slope is two into one maximum fill height is six meters and i don't have a uh, I, I will change the bench width to two meter but it will not be considered because the maximum fill height is six meters beyond that it will not consider this assembly so i click k here then i go to this one and go change the parameters so i change j light bench r Then this one I don't consider about the cut situation for the fill situation maximum fill height still six meters. After that one I will have a bench, but the fill slope is one point uh, five into one. That is the change. So I will click OK to accept the changes. So those are the changes I did, but I need to have a cut assembly as 
fail because uh, if there is a cut I don't have any uh, option determined here to determine the cut assembly I then again go to conditional cut and fail and I will click it here and press enter uh, for cut assembly I don't have to change the parameters I will accept the default parameters so if you if you have conditions for the cut as well you can change as you like so I click this one I change this name as daylight bench R and then I select this one go to copy and copy to this one because it will only consider at the cut situations if you go to here and go to sub assembly properties you will see the cut parameters here they are the cut parameters right right click okay now the same parameters will be at the left side also so i click all these things like this and go to mirror here and mirror at this edge so you can see everything uh, changed now i have to change these names here so for i select first these two and right click and go to properties now i will change this as conditional cut fill left for left side and this one i will change as conditional cut left side and these three I will change it as daylight bench A. Then for these three, it will be it will be daylight bench R as usual. And I'm going to change this to to conditional cut and fill uh, R conditional fill R. Then I go here and go to properties. And this one conditional cut R. Click OK. So now everything fine. So I click close this one. Now I am going to apply this to the corridor. Uh, to do that, I go right click my corridor and go to set all targets because I have set a daylight target here. So these daylight hard targets has to be set. To do that, I click here, click here to select the target and click in this EG target. Click OK and click OK again and rebuild the corridor. You can see now there will be uh, there will be the corridor created. You will have the corridor created. So uh, I will move on to this place and see and click in this one and go to section view editor and I will change this parameter to new road and if I move here this is 2 into 1 that means less than 6 meter cut fill height so if I move in more, more than that one you can see now this is more than 6 meter fill now you have a 1.5 into 1 with a berm so in this side also it is more than 6 meter that is why you get a 1.5 into 1 so if you go to the other one also here you can see it yeah, as well if I move away from that one You will see this here. You can see this is 1.5 into 1, this side 2 into 1 because this side is less than 6 meters, this side is greater than 6 meters. So you have two kinds of conditional assemblies here. So that is how to apply conditional assemblies in Civil 3D. So you can use that for uh, cut situation as well as fill situation. So you